Recently, Archbishop Vigano has criticized the Second Vatican Council and said that it should be completely thrown away, and a number of bishops have responded in defense of the Second Vatican Council. Bishop Daniel Flores of Brownsville, Texas, released a statement on Twitter, and it was interesting. He said that traditionalists can actually be modernists, but I don't really understand what he was trying to say. He used sort of the same ambiguous language that the Second Vatican Council uses, so no surprise there. The next bishop to speak out in favor of Vatican II was Bishop Thomas Tobin. He has usually been on the good side of things. He's very pro-life. But he took this opportunity to criticize Vigano, and I don't really understand why he made this point, because he's not really defending Vatican II, he's just criticizing Vigano. And then the next bishop to defend Vatican II was, of course, Bishop Barron. He has spent the past several weeks defending the Second Vatican Council. And here in this tweet, he says that people cannot consider themselves traditionalists unless they accept Vatican II. That's actually an extremely difficult point to reason through because the Second Vatican Council is such a severe deviation from Catholic teaching that it doesn't make sense that he would assert this claim. So let's set the record straight here. You're not a Catholic traditionalist unless you prefer the Latin Mass. And in fact, for myself who prefers the Latin Mass, I don't even consider myself necessarily a traditionalist. I just consider myself Catholic. The Latin Mass is the past, present, and future of the Catholic Church. So interestingly enough, Bishop Barron's video was promoted by none other than Father James Martin, who fully agrees with Bishop Barron's video. And it's interesting to note the connection between Bishop Barron and Martin. Both of them are featured speakers at the LA Religious Education Conference, otherwise known as the LA Rec. This conference openly promotes modernism and the homosexual agenda. But getting back to the point, why are these bishops attacking Archbishop Vigano? Why do they view tradition as a problem in the Catholic Church? And I think bishops should take notice of what Vigano is saying, and they should see what they can do to promote the Latin Mass more in their diocese, and also promote the traditional teachings of the Church. I don't think the bishops should see Vigano as a threat in any way. He's really just analyzing the Second Vatican Council and taking a look at the results, which are actually very horrifying. So, from my perspective, Vatican II is a problem, the Latin Mass is a solution. We are the laity, we will not be silent, Vigano is correct, and we need to return to the traditional practices of the Church.